Hey, YouTube. Yep, back at it again. It's actually nice out here now. Got a hold of the allergies a little bit early this year because I knew they were gonna pop up. Everything's yellow, this whole table. And this, uh, this is sitting on is yellow with pollen, so I started taking allergy medicine like about three weeks ago before all this popped up, so it kind of got my system. Usually what happens is I wait until it starts messing with me too bad and then I end up getting a sinus infection or something, so try to stay on top of it this year. What? Um, promised you guys a video. Sorry, some tobacco. Um, promised you guys a video. Can't really call it a box open because nothing, well, half of it came in a box, half of it didn't come in a box, half of it I got at a B&M, but not sure really I don't want to name the video yet, but um, it's basically about finding some good tobacco. And uh, kind of stay, talked about it a little bit in my last video. Um, kind of thinking about getting that McBaron that just came out. They just released the, um, I mean, it didn't just come out. It's been out since the 50s, but the Burley one. But McBaron to me is kind of hit or miss. Um, this one's probably okay because I heard... Some of the last ones that they did with the Berlin have been pretty good, especially the ones that were previous releases before, but I don't know, I got so much stuff, it's just unbelievable at this point. But what I'm smoking is, smoking some Brown Clooney by Rattrays. It's a uh, 120, so it's got, what, four years on it, right? And time flies. Um, so yeah, but uh, it's real good stuff. Um, I don't think I've reviewed that one yet. But uh, I think what I'm going to do from now on, I'll just do like a tobacco of the month kind of thing. Because like I said, I don't, I'm going to be honest with you, I don't really know how much new tobacco per se I'm going to be buying anymore. Um, I mean, I'm sure I'll be buying stuff here and there, you know. But I just got to kind of pique my interest. Um, I have so much other stuff I love. It's just like a lot of the newer stuff I get disappointed in it, to be honest with you. And there's a couple of things I'm searching for um, that I need to stock up on a little bit um, and that's it but everything else I've pretty much my list is pretty much checked off on so anyways get to the store real quick so me and Uncle Willie met up this has been about a month ago like I said I had, um, had a death in the family so I had some stuff going on um, I was going to post it then but it didn't happen but so we went to um, John B. Hayes in Winchester Virginia and, um, you know, that, that's actually a pretty good place. I mean, they they cater to cigar people just like most places, um, but they have a good amount of pipe stuff. Like, they have all the Rattray's blends I like. They have a um, um, bunch of other stuff. I don't know. It's, you know, a bunch of stuff I like, basically. They got some really nice selection of new and used pipes. It's just a cool place to hang out, um, and it's a good meeting point for us with him living in Maryland, me living in Virginia. It's kind of in between for us, so it works that good. But anyways, so this to me, like, it's only the second time I really found it. And the first time was at Boswell's. And um, the first time I got some Cardiff. So if you know what I'm talking about, you probably know. First thing I see when I walked in is this sitting here. So I snagged it up. It was the only bag he had. Um, he had other, like the other stuff, the uh, English blends. I'm not big on English stuff, to be honest with you. Um, but this... I don't know if this is quite my favorite or not from Esoterica, but um, it's one of them. But anyways, I only had one one can or one one can. I only had one ten of this, you know, like fifty gram ten. So I needed more. So um, I know a couple of you guys in the past have told me because I've only, I've only had the one bag of this and I immediately jarred it. Um, I haven't jarred jarred this yet, and of course I paid retail for it. You can see I paid forty one bucks for it. Um, to me. People out paying two, three hundred dollars for these things is insane. That's why I said I like the tobacco, but I'm only buying it if it's retail. I mean, if somebody gives it to me for a good deal, that's a different. But I'm not getting bent over the coals for something. It's you know, it's good tobacco, but it's not like there's other stuff that's just as good to me. Um, but it's unique. I will say that it's a unique tobacco, and I do enjoy it. But Dunbar is really, really good, and I got a bag of it. So next one I got, and this one I already had. I didn't have, a, I don't have a bag of this, but I had, um, three tens and I got another one fourth and it was 20 bucks. So 
Dorchester is one I've been, I've actually been smoking on this the past couple months a lot. Um, I smoked through at least half a 10. Um, and it's, it's been really good. And so that's, and I wasn't even going to get it, but I was like, eh, cause I smoked it like a little bit the week or two before that. And I was like, okay, I was like, I'll get another 10. And it seems like one of these ones that's like the more it's aging, the more I'm enjoying it. Cause the 10 I have that I'm smoking on is probably, it's probably five years old. Cause it was my, I usually open my oldest 10 first. And the third thing I got is Tilbury. Um, I did get a couple of cigars from there, but I think I already smoked half of them. So, you know, I don't have them on me, but, um, Tilbury is a really, really good Virginia. Um, I really enjoy this one. Uh, the Cardiff that I, that I have, I actually kind of cheat on that one. I do enjoy it, but some of those Virginias just don't do it all the way for me. You know, a straight Virginia. So I add a little bit of Wessex Burley flake to that and I call it Burdiff. That's probably the only blend I've really kind of mingled myself that I really, really enjoy. Like that blend is phenomenal. I need to get more Wessex uh, Burley for that. So that's another thing I usually look for when I go, go places and I, I haven't seen it in a while. So, but I'm sure I'll find it eventually. Just like everything else. This last thing I found I'm trying to think of another tobacco that I like as much as this, and I really can't come up with anything. Um, Rattray's Howl of the Wind comes to mind, but I still like this one a little bit better. This is probably my favorite tobacco of all time, to be honest with you, if, if I had to guess, and Special Curly. So I didn't get it at John B. Hayes. I actually ordered this, thanks to Uncle Willie for this, because I was talking so much about it, and I asked the gentleman while I was there, I was like, hey man, do you have any uh, special curly or any Peter Heinrich blends. He didn't have any at the time, which it is what it is. So I got home. I don't think it was that night. I think it was the next day. Uh, uncle Willie messaged me and he said, um, yeah, cause I was, you know, I've already got a couple of the big tens or they actually have 200 gram tens. These are the hundred gram tens. I have two of these and I've already went through almost the whole hundred gram one. So I'm like, I need to get more of this, especially for the future. Um, so I got two tens in the cellar and now I got four. So I got six, I'm sorry, cause I got four more. So that should last me for a right good while. Um, and I'm going through one of these things where I'm going through most of my tobaccos. Like most, I don't know, they say, you know, keep tobacco, don't get rid of it. But I think I'm just gonna give, especially like the English blends and certain things I know I'm not gonna smoke. Cause I got so much other stuff. I think I'm gonna do, do a couple giveaways here coming up. So stay tuned for that um, and just be giving some stuff away because I'd rather see people enjoy it, you know. But there's a solid, I'd say, 20 tobaccos that are top shelf that I've cellared up on, maybe 25. And then there's another 20 that are good that I have enough that I'm not worried about it, getting more. So, you know, all in all, I'm good. And I got plenty of cigars. But anyways, that to me, oh, Sorry, ADD's kicking in. Back about the story in this. Uh, Uncle Willie messaged me the next day and said, hey, Boswell's have it, has it. And I said, well, maybe I'll get you to pick it up for me so I don't have to pay shipping and I'll get it from you next time we meet up. And I got to search them around online because like Beans has said before, you know, if one place has it, keep an eye out for other places. So I looked, um, Watch City Cigars, um, they didn't have it, but um, Four Noggins and not smoking pipes, but tobacco pipes tobacco pipes out of Richmond, Virginia here. They had it. And, um, I ordered enough to get free shipping, obviously. And, uh, it was a good price because the Boswell's for whatever reason, they had it, they had this particular blend barked up a lot. Like it was like four or five dollars more than the other places were selling it. So I was like, well, I'll just get it from there, you know? So, um, like I said, now I think I'm pretty confident that I have enough, but I'm not gonna lie to you. If I walk into a shop and I see another 10, I'd probably snag it. Or if I see a 200 gram 10, I would definitely snag it. Um, but yeah, so let me know what you guys think about the esoterica tobacco and the special curly if you haven't had it or what you stock up on. Cause you know, it's kind of a box opening video, but I'd like to hear people's thoughts on what they're stocking up on too. So this is JC again and uh, I'll have a, uh, probably a knife video coming up soon, plus a, 
I'm, I, I plan on posting a bunch of stuff. I just got to get time to do it. But anyways, keep tuned. All right, this is JC again. Hope everybody's having a good day.